Hello, today I will be teaching you Royal Jelly, all the Royal Jelly locations in B-Swarm Simulator. And welcome back, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty fine. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so first off, let me say what Royal Jellies are. Royal Jellies transform one of your bees into a random uh, rare epic legendary or mythic there is like a 0 0.001 one percent chance of getting a mythic from these so the um developers don't even bother to put a mythic on the thing it's, it just says rare epic or legendary but there actually is a very small chance of getting a mythic but they just want, don't want to put your hopes up for it because, like, you're not going to get a mythic from it. I mean, there is a chance, but there, you're just not going to. Okay. So first off, when you start the game in the 0 to 5B area, there's just one up here on the ticket tent. And you can use that on your first B or whatever. It's also by the 25 cannon or whatever and over here you might have seen like a little glass window you can actually just get in there by going up here by the club honey dispenser going down here and doing this simple parkour over um take a left turn don't go that way you can't that um is inaccessible unless you use a glitch but you won't have enough honey but i, I already um made a video on a gl the glitch on how to get up there but um you can just go watch that video and here's the royal jelly you just go this way up for the royal jelly in the shop the noob shop Okay, and the last royal jelly in the 0 to 5 area. Some easy parkour in the mushroom field up to right here. And there's a royal jelly. Now in the 5 area, there are two royal jellies. One you can just get by doing this parkour up to use bamboo posts or whatever, bamboo trees, I don't know what they're called, but it, these little things, just on that one right there, and the other one is just, instead of going up the ramp to the tent area, you just go around, and into this little tunnel, where there's a royal jelly right here. And now, there is actually a little royal jelly right there by Brown Bear and the Wolf Clock. <laughs> and to get to that, you might have seen it before, but not known how to get to it. Well, if you have a parachute, you can just get that in the ten, the pro shop right there in the ten area. And you just need to like go go over here on top of the blue um, HQ and use your glider from like right here over to there. And you don't need the like the 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 parachute from the glider from like the top shop you just need the parachute from the pro shop i mean you can do it with both but it's but you can still do it with the parachute but the glider is easier and also you can do it from uh poor science fair is if you want to but um it's easier to get like um like when if you fail the jump, it's easier to get back up if if you just do it from the um, blue HQ. You can do 
either one. So you can do it from right here onto right there. Or you can do it from the blue thing. But it's easier to do it from the top one, but it takes longer to get up. So you can really do either one. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, so next royal jelly is over in the 10 area. So let's go back to the 10 area. Um, over here there is actually only one royal jelly, which I don't know if you would even consider in this area. So it's complicated. I mean, there is a way to like do it from this ten area. Uh, there's a parkour. I made a video on it. You just do this parkour from that dispenser to the pineapple to this shop sign, and then up here. You go to this little tunnel, but you have to unlock the 15 area to actually get to this place, or you'll be teleported. So you have to unlock the 15 area, and ha you have to have 15 bees, and then go through this tunnel. But the thing with this parkour thing is the glitches. You're actually in the developer's intent for you to jump down from the 25B area, but you don't have to do that, you can just get 15 bees and you can get that royal jelly. Okay, next, in the 15 area, I don't actually know a... Oh, actually, yeah, there's one right there, okay. So, by right here, you just walk across and royal jelly, a free royal jelly. And I don't know if there's actually any others on this place. Ah, on the top of the pine tree. And to get to that pine tree, you just have to do this parkour up over here. It's easier to do with a parachute. You don't need the glider, just... I mean, actually, it's not possible unless you have the parachute, because... Like, a jump like this wouldn't be possible. So you need a parachute to do this. There's some glitter in there, you have to have a moon amulet, and it has to be night to get that and jump across. You'll just fade through these, like, fall through them and die. But, um, that's not where the royal jelly is. It's right here. Jump on top of the pine tree and free royal jelly. You can actually just jump back. But, um, yeah, that's where the royal jelly is. And... I think that's about it for royal jellies. Now, actually, I'm gonna go over star jellies for a second. So, star jellies... There a few. I um actually I think there might be a royal jelly or a star jelly and there up on there's some parkour up there, but I can't be in that area. But yeah, there is some parkour, so there might be some reward like a royal jelly or star jelly, I don't know. But now star jelly locations that I know of. Also, there's a royal, another royal jelly dispenser right here. One right here, one right there. This one's for, um, honey, that one's for tickets, but... There are two star jellies in the sprinkler shop. One, you're, there's a glitch to get it, which is super OP. You can get a free gifted be from this, so just by the splendor, you need to just like keep jumping, and eventually it'll like kind of make you double jump. You just just like 
spam jump and parachute and as you can see you'll just like make it up and it'll kind of do like a double jump thing it's a pretty easy glitch and i made a video on it on this too it, it's super OP because you can just get a free gifted V. And also, um, when you um, unlock your first Ace Badge, um, the easiest to get, in my opinion, is the Honey Ace Badge. Um, you, you can go in here and just completely free um, Star Jelly right there. And then over in the 35 area let me use the red cannon to get to it well i can't actually go in but i know that in that little tunnel right there as you can see you just when you go in there you take a left turn and just keep going left and you can kind of like go through the wall or something and then um take another left and you can find a free star jelly also next there is a royal jelly right in this maze I'll try to find the right way. Come on. Oh, there's a ticket right there if you want that. But not a, not what we're looking for. Hmm. I guess that's the other way then. Let's go back around. Ah, so... There's a star jelly right there. But to get that, that star jelly, you have that 35 area tunnel that I just showed you where you had to go through a wall that's how you get to that and uh, I think there's one more mm -hmm. it just slipped off of my mind but I know where it is ah yes okay actually there is another in the Ten area in the pro shop. So go over to the pro shop in the ten area and just <laughs> go behind this uh, uh, pro bear. Go behind the sign that he's in front of, and there's a maze. Amazing. There's a sunflower seed. And. There's a bunch of stuff in here. It's a harder maze. Yeah, there's the royal jelly right there. And. I'll show you what I did again. This is kind of confusing. Let's go straight through here. So straight. Right. Right again, then right again, then straight, then right, straight, right, down, right, straight, right, and then there's the royal jelly. And that's all the royal jelly and star jellies that I know of, and I'm... 100% sure there's at least one royal jelly or star jelly in the 30 area. There's like some parkour under the platforms that you stand on and above. So there's definitely a royal or star jelly on those, on one of those parkours or something, something like that. And I hope you enjoyed and found this informative and helpful for playing Beast Swarm. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. And if you want to see more videos like these. And also turn on the notification bell to always be notified when I upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!